FNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. Dow's up 100 points. The S&P's up 2. NASDAQ 100 is up 11. Russell's up 9. Semis are up 29. That's a little over 1%. So they're the big winner out there. We're going to go take a look at its chart uh, momentarily. You've got gold trading back $6.60. 1725 is the print there. Silver's off 19 pennies at $18.94. Lights recruit back $7.75. 9635 is the print there. Natural gas off 17 pennies. She's printing at 16 624 and the 30 treasuries up 18 ticks 139.09 is the print there so let's go take a look at the semiconductor index out here we'll take a look at the other indices as well if we have the uh, time but let's go take a look at the semis out here so what the semiconductor index has it has generated a buy the d point pattern this is the daily time frame chart that we're looking at so this is a larger a to b equals cd pattern that was confirmed with this rising window that gap to the upside three four trading sessions ago now Price is inside a bullish structured profile. Price is above its red oscillator and change line. What this suggests, the semi should go target the top of their profile. That's at 218.81. That's what the daily time frame chart is communicating to us. Uh, the weekly chart uh, formed a, uh, well, I could do it here. Just that oscillator and change line is not going to be correct, but I think you'll forgive me on that. It's still going to show the uh, daily time frame. We'll change over to the weekly chart. This also confirmed an A to B equals CD to the downside. That was confirmed last week with a bullish piercing candle. That suggests a move up to 220.72. So the weekly says 220.72. The daily says 218. 81. That becomes the price range for the semiconductor index. Now, here I just simply take a look at the SMHs, the ETF for these semis out there. If we take a look at the other indices, well, actually, let's take a look at the S&P market print. Let's just do something that's going to give us some type of signal information, if anything. Here, on the 60-minute time frame for the S&P, this had a bullish crossover just as we were basically uh, coming on to the uh, 2 o'clock. Uh, that was about noon or so. 236 inches. Instruments trade above the top versus 156 trading below the bottom. Let's take a look at the four-hour time frame chart. Four-hour time frame chart is also over oh, south. 188 above the top, 140 below the bottom. The daily time frame is absolutely bullish. 161 above the top, 68 below the bottom. It's the weekly that is the uh, real trouble out there. But we should see a further rally inside the S&P 500. At least market breadth is set up for that to unfold. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bears up next. Have a terrific Tuesday. I'll be seeing you.